The first chapter video's link is pinned if you haven't watched it make sure because you won't understand the story. Living that aside we saw Aang was knocked in previous chapter and was saved by a cadet. Moving on while the person was asking if he's alright he introduced himself as Lan Snow and asked our protagonist's name. But a girl from the crowd seems irritated as his name is same as the strongest man and she even mocked him saying having the name of the strongest doesn't make you strong and after that she left with an attitude. However Aang seems really pissed and replied his name is none of her business furthermore asking about who she is. Lan told him she is the most promising warrior in their batch called Situ Lu and also known as the unsmiling Rakshasa. Moreover she is the eldest daughter of the most renowned martial arts family in Helio City but Aang was more focused on her family name as it sounds somewhat familiar. And just when Lan was helping Aang get up someone from background took their pick saying what a dazzling display of brotherhood. Well that person end up being a girl who looked similar to our Mitsuri. Though seeing our protagonist's nose bleed it seems his attention was more fixed on her melons. Nonetheless just when Aang asked who she is but Lan was more focused about the photos she took. Well she did introduce herself as Suju and their brotherhood attracted her attention. But as you can see she's more into boys love than in the actual warrior spirit. Moving at fitness text venue Aang was really fired up thinking even if the body is weak but ultimately he is still the strongest warrior and that he will stun everyone by scoring monstrous grades. Subsequently he took his position on the field track and just after the beginning signal was given Aang dash with his full speed thinking he will set a new record this time. 2000 years later. Although he technically did set a new record but it was about taking the longest time to finish the long distance endurance test. Well he became a laughing stock as his body is in ridiculously awful state. Next at explosive arm strength test he took last place again and at leg strength test he jump couldn't even surpass that skinny girl. The examiner said he has taken last place in every test and obtained the worst results in history so he shall be eliminated. And when Lan was trying to cheer him up Suju was more concerned about her photos. The examiner even consulted Captain Yao Tang asking they should eliminate him as his results are just awful. Unfortunately the captain said there isn't much hope left for that lanky monkey but he still has the right to participate in the second test and his final assessment. Just after that the announcement was made about the second test explaining the cadets will be assessed on their synchronization with the grafting equipment. Well hearing the announcement Aang got his spirit back as 60 years ago he had the strongest synchronization average rate above 96%. Also even if his body is not fit he still has chance to win the second test as the synchronization is determined by one's willpower. Aang with full confidence started to move to the second test destination saying he will show all the bastards who mocked him what is the real heights of synchronization rate. Moving on at synchronization test Aang was surprised to see the grafting equipment as it's improved compared to 60 years ago. Same moment the examiner made an announcement of someone reaching 39% of synchronization rate. And the person ends up being C2 Lu as the people who have trained from martial arts families are different because they have honed their skills from childhood. However I don't remember where but I must have seen these small tangerines somewhere. Anyways everyone was impressed by her but our guy didn't have any change in his expression. Well she started to leave the test with attitude and everyone was cheering her for being the best rookie. But to their knowledge Lu herself was really nervous moreover it seems this is her original personality and Lu was glad she made it into a sensation also acting like a narcissist and Sunere. On other side Aang was still impressed by her performance but Lan was feeling nervous seeing the atmosphere and just when he asked Aang how does he feel but to his knowing Aang was calm as river. After that everyone took the assessment one by one and some rookies were able to withstand the pain from grafting and some people weren't able to withstand it and gave up. But there were even geniuses among them which include Lan and our Suju. Furthermore the captain was happy to see they have found new seedlings with great potential. And there was also a sexy legs present there talking about how they have already found 6 candidates who have surpassed 30% of synchronization. Also compared to other C rank cities their current batch of rookies is of good quality. Though captain replied it's a shame as there are some inferior ones too and at that time Aang was proceeding for his assessment. But before starting he did glanced at the captain and while everyone was making fun of him but Aang was thinking you can laugh as much as you want you inexperienced brats but remember to pick their jaw from the floor later. That aside look at his face it seems he is having some problem while pooping. Regardless this was it for the second chapter so make sure to subscribe to stay updated. Sayonara.